Hello everyone, it's Demonic Lunch again. And this is basically a reply to all of those uh, vids that are ranting about the changes that I made with the Nickelodeon Tanami, or rather the death of Tanami, the changes that they made with the Disney. The way I see it, this also stems from an economic issue. Because if you noticed from 9-11 to now, the economy has been going down a steady decline. Also, another part of this is appealing to a younger audience. So, they sought to um, appeal to the younger generation at a cheap price because, I mean, for those of us who have been graced with the cartoons of back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, we kind of look at them and go, this is what our parents grew up with. Because some of us didn't like how, you know, the acting was and the animation was. So that's the same case with the 90s cartoons. Some kids of 2000 and later may look at those cartoons and go, this is what the kids in the 90s grew up with? God, this is a bunch of crap! I believe the uh, managers at Nick, Seen, and Disney Studios kind of figured that, so they got rid of all the old stuff. At least up to like 2004, they got rid of all that. And they replaced it with something else. Something crappy. And also, they're trying to keep up with the pop culture trend. Which is why you got shows like Sweet Life is Zack and Cody, Zoe 101, and uh, all those other live action crappy shows. Which I'm pretty sure a lot of you hate. And I know that's a bunch of BS, but it, then again, it's just very so bad with so, after watching a couple of vids about rant, about how people ranted, about the death of Tsunami, the death of Seaman, or the Seaman they knew and grew up with, I decided to, you know, kind of, uh, take an opportunity to, uh, finish up some stories I started on. So, um, I could get them published. Because as I mentioned previously, I'm an aspiring writer. But again, I figured that, um, the audience who actually like a story because of how all the elements fit together in it are slowly dying out. Because, I mean, let's think about it. Why on earth did you like all those old cartoons in the first place? Because of how they were constructed, because of how the humor came in at an appropriate, perfect moment, because of how the action was bu was built up due to a story-based situation that developed this great climax that broke down into this awesome action sequence. Well. I think that's being slowly lost. And, um... Whereas I'm trying to uh, duplicate that, and I actually see that as a problem. Because I was influenced by all the older stuff. The Dragon Ball Z, Hellboy, Sailor Moon, um... Samurai Jack, Dexter's Lab, uh, Batman, X-Men, Spider-Man, and, uh, I've taken these influenced, influences, and, uh, kind of broke them down, examined them, reconstructed them, tore out the things that those creators developed, and replaced them with whatever I could think of, which I don't think is gonna cut it, but, I'ma try. Try, even if it kills me. But 
figured they could appeal to a younger generation at a cheap price, which is why some of the stuff was cheaply made, I know that's it, and to a lot of people. But again, with hard times becoming a factor in today's economy, what else did you expect? And, uh, Just feel that um, audience who gravitates towards stories because of how they're constructed are slowly dying out of the place, so it's not really gonna matter. Kinda makes me wonder what cartoons are gonna look like in the next decade or so. I hope they're a lot better than what's out there today. Well, we aspiring writers may have something to do with that. So, yeah, I'm at least going to try. You know, make this do the best I can in appealing to my audience. Hopefully. For any other spying writer who's watching this, good luck. You're gonna need it. At least those of you who write from the heart, rather than trying to fit in to whatever crappy trend that's out there. Yeah!